at the thrift store, Value Village, and I'm gonna try to thrift some blazers because I've been wanting to get some, I don't have any. And then also try to look for some stuff for a Halloween costume. I have a Halloween costume party on Friday and it is Tuesday already. <laughs> that in my next place that I live, I have in-suite washers and dryers because I hate doing laundry. <laughs> Out of bouillon cubes.
So I've got my tea here and I've been doing a lot of contemplation and I had to basically journal it out or just write it out. Like my journal entry looks so messy and like gross because I just basically word vomited everything that was on my mind onto here to kind of, I don't know, rationalize it. Um, I don't know, I thought I would just kind of share what I've been thinking as a postgraduate student who graduated quite late in terms of societal norms um, because like I am 24 and I'm turning 25 in like less than two weeks which is <laughs> kind of crazy to think about. I don't like thinking about that number, I don't know why. I wrote down some things that were weighing on my mind especially at work today. And maybe talking about this, some other people who are in the same boat can watch this and listen to it. I don't know, up to your discretion. I think the main thing that's kind of weighing on my mind um, is people's perception of me. And this has been a topic that I've talked about various times with different counselors and therapists, especially within the last year and a half. Um, because I felt and I still feel like I have pretty bad imposter syndrome where I don't feel like I'm adequate compared to other people but I feel like I should be in a different place than I am right now it's like a big jumbled mess that I'm like speaking about but I mean whatever I'm gonna edit this anyways <laughs> you see it's like a huge mess so in case you don't know I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies. But with that comes with the stigma or notion of, oh, it's an arts degree, what the fuck can you do with an arts degree? Which I kind of asked myself that. And then I realized, okay, a lot of the stuff that you can do with arts degrees, you kind of have to get into it through connections, which I, I'm scared of because I'm like, there are some people I can talk to, but ultimately, would that really work out? You know? And my dream with my degree is to go into curating. So I really want to do curating art. But I don't really know how to go about that. I would have to do my master's to do that basically. And with that, I kind of made a goal of like if I was to do my master's, which I do want to do eventually, I don't want to stay in Vancouver. I'd want to go ideally somewhere else. And I ideally don't even want to do it in Canada. So that would mean I have to go abroad. And that's all. That's a scary feat in itself. Especially if you take into account. When I graduated from high school, I literally only applied to one university. And that was the university that I went to. Not one of the top universities, but I did it because of financial reasons, family reasons, and that, those are basically the two top things that influence my decision just to apply to that place. I kind of feel bad that I didn't kind of strive for more because I definitely could have. But then on the bright side, I do think about the connections I did make in my small university and because it was smaller, the classes were smaller, the profs got to know you by your name and like they could recognize you. I have other friends in bigger universities and their lecture halls are like 200, 300 students. The second thing that's been kind of bonking on my mind um, is my career path. I searched up, oh, what kind of jobs can I do with a liberal studies degree and like a, a list of things came up, but then it doesn't tell you how to get into those positions and stuff like that. And a lot of times it does rely on connections that you have as well as, as I hate to say it, like the status of the school that you went to. If I apply to like the same job as someone that has just a better socially ranked university, I'm not going to get the job. But then I haven't even applied to the job yet, you know? It's like self-sabotage in that kind of sense and I hate that. <laughs> I'm really trying to, I don't know, trying to work through that but it's hard. Right now, I work in a hospital. I could potentially move into a different position in the hospital and just, I guess, like move up. And then I wrote down, like, you know, pros and cons of working in the medical field in my position. It's just like a stagnant job and there's not much room for growth. If you're in like one position, you're in one position. In Vancouver, there's really not many opportunities when it comes to art curating. I've always wanted to travel and like 
you know live abroad stuff like that and i don't know if you know is this the right time to do it just to say fuck it and go for it because there's a lot of other factors i have to keep in mind you know like my family went through a pretty tumultuous 2020 and 2021 like i don't know how much longer i'll have with my dad with him being here i feel like by 25 i shouldn't have just graduated with a bachelor's i should have like already had my master's and i don't and i don't have a corporate job i don't know if it's mercury retrograde that happened because that was like that was a weird two two three weeks however long it was i didn't want to do anything I was demotivated. I barely went to dance class when I used to go like four times, five times a week. I've been wanting to get back into art after, you know, graduating and, have the t and having the time to do it, but I just haven't done it. And I'm like, I'm wasting time. Like, I need to find my life. And at the same time, I remember the shit that I went through in the last year and a half. And I'm like, girly, slow down. Just like, enjoy your life right now even if it's just like going to work coming home cooking and just relaxing watching a show watching a marathon of movies it's fine because i was so like on edge and wired up the, the last the last bit that i feel like i do deserve it but at the same time i'm like i need to do something with this pandemic it's kind of uprooted a lot of people's lives and I guess like in a sense has helped some of the harsh expectations that have been placed on people. People are more forgiving when it comes to um, the rate that they're doing things. I think just like the post-grad blues where I was usually so busy with school assignments, working, family stuff, and now it's just kind of like down low time which i've never really had before since i always was in school but now it's just kind of like you're not in school you're just working making some money working overtime and that's okay i guess that's basically it sorry for the ramble and i want to treat my youtube channel as like a just basically diary for myself okay i'm gonna go warm some soup because that's my dinner Bye!